She wants to remain anonymous, but is sharing her story because she says this disease is something people should continue to take seriously. I'm hoping that whenever somebody actually tells them something, that they take it more serious than their company. Anger and disappointment. If it had been handled properly in the beginning, this all could have been avoided. My child would not been have been exposed. Are two of the many emotions expressed after a local restaurant employee tested positive for COVID-19 last week. I had my temperature taken. I was not running a fever, so they didn't send me home. The employee says she then got tested and continued to work while waiting for her results. She says she felt physically better as the days went on. The news of her results took her by storm. So then they, the hospital calls me and was like, yes, tap, uh, has anybody called you regarding your COVID results? I was like, no, ma'am. And I was like, okay, well, um, you did test positive. And I just like kind of dropped to my knees and covered my mouth. I was like, oh my gosh. And once she got her results, she immediately went to quarantine. But the conversations with her management is what caught her off guard. I had got a phone call from my manager later that day talking about some, why didn't you tell us that you were sick and all of this other such. And I was like, I did tell y'all that I was sick. I told you that I was sick the night before and I needed you to take my temperature. And you said I wasn't running a temperature. Like, he was like, no, you're fine. And now Amy Taylor, whose son and brother-in-law have worked alongside the infected employee, is hoping the restaurant takes action to disinfect the restaurant. They have yet to close down and deep clean. Taylor says this has been a trickle-down effect for her entire family. My entire family had to be tested for COVID-19. On the 16th, we went to the free testing at the soccer complex. We were lucky to get an appointment. Our paperwork states that we are to self-isolate. We are to stay home. We are not to go to work. My husband and I are not allowed to return to work until we can provide them with negative test results. I also reached out to the restaurant's corporate team for comment, but have yet to hear back. Mayor Robert Smith is also looking to this as well.